Hello out there, just a quick uh, Steam Controller update here. We now have individual sets. That, that is a big freaking deal. It's pretty amazing. So I started fiddling around here with my Arma profile. Um, now one thing to know is you will need to dedicate a button to switching. So you just select set and then which one you want to go to. So I have analog steering on my land set, and I put the triggers to be analog throttle. So I hit my select button to switch to my vehicle, and now I'm leaning the controller to steer. And oh, it, you know, it's like a driving game. It feels so much better. So now the only weird thing is uh, you just have to remember to hit that toggle button back. So I had to hit select twice to come back to my infantry set. And I had to do that because I have, you know, it's it all depends on how you want to define it. I have, I'm kind of like tight on buttons to use in Arma, so I'm using the select button. So I have it set, so select will just go through, you know, hit select once, it's going to go to land. Hit select again, it's going to go back to air. You know, and then with the air, that I have the triggers for analog rudders, which, game changer there, that's so much better. I mean, this is all a work in progress. I mainly just wanted to show, just, just do a quick Steam vid, kind of letting you know about the update, because if you didn't know about that, it's it's a pretty big deal. The only thing I'm, I wish right now is that there was some on-screen notification when I switched. So like right now, I'm still in my infantry. I need to hit select twice. Now I'm in my air controls. Yeah, the, the analog triggers as rudder makes a huge difference. You can see, I can slowly turn. Whereas before, you know, it's just, whoa, Q and E all the way. Now I feel like I could actually fly a little bit, like I'm using the advanced flight model. I still do terribly and wreck all the time, but it's it's getting there. I guess another thing just for Arma is I, I figured out how to bind uh, the analog stick for movement. So now I'm just pushing forward the stick a little bit at slow walk, you know, medium to like 90% is jog and then all the way is sprint. So that is really nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing more on this, but yeah, all of this was opened up to me because we now have these sets. So now I can really cater to each individual, you know, each individual part of the game. It, it's, it's amazing. It really, it, it is now at least an equal with x -Patter. Probably beyond that. There's just a couple things that it still needs. It just needs on-screen notifications, which even x never had that, but Steam can do that. What I would love is, uh, like this. Something just popped up to let you know, hey, you switched to the land set. All right, now you're back to infantry set. It'd be very simple. And I did come up, I did find some issues, uh, like I was trying to use the touch menu to let you know when you switch sets, and that seems to break the touch menu. Which, I mean, this this is all Steam beta stuff. This just came out Friday, so it's a little rough around the edges. But that, that is pretty cool. I mean, that's a, <laughs> like, I'm just going to keep saying that's a huge deal, and it is. So I will definitely be playing around with this more, but yeah, if you're not in Steam Beta, you might want to check it out. I'm just letting you know what's been happening in the developments with the Steam Controller. It's really shaping up. Alright, that's all I got. I will see you around. Oh! Arma 3 with a controller. This might take a little bit of time. Yes, you get the... <clears throat> Yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, 
shit. Red, the color of my car. Oh, sorry. I did a little lay miz there. Oh, I suck. You suck so bad, you should be a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, I know.